Keyed rakes and bunker. I think I think that's supposed to be a P. I don't, I don't really know. <laughs> Here's some keyed up golf. How about Kenny Williams with the nice approach? This one almost eagle. He would settle for birdie and finish with an 84 on the day. Drew Dauber from Brian. He would just miss the cup for an eagle as well. But a number of opportunities there. He would birdie. See him tap that one in. He would also finish with an 85. Jackson Radabaugh from Wauseon. Just missing a birdie here. He would settle for par. Ended up with a nice day. Later on, same hole. Luke Wheeler knocking down the 12-foot putt for birdie. Rough patch for Brian's Case Hartman. But check this third shot out of the sand and almost hits Eagle. He would finish with a 65. First place overall in the tournament today. Drew McCarty for Archibald gets the friendly lip. Nice shot by the boys as we check out the girls now. Archibald's Lucy Rodriguez, she would chip in a birdie putt on this par five. Now Evergreen's Joseph Beatty would settle for par. Some of them are using the different colored balls here. If you missed that birdie shot, there were some different Colored balls are something that I would definitely use. I seem to lose a white ball very easily. How about a birdie tap in by Chloe Ballow of Patrick Henry and her teammate Sydney Roars would knock this one in as we bring it to the final scores. Going back to the boys, Brian comes away with the overall win. Wasion, Swan, Archibald, and Delta kind of falling in there. You see uh, Case Hartman finishing with a 65 and that one over in the girls, Wasion. Wins this one big by 22 strokes. Lexi McQuillan finishing overall first with a 65.